So I'm making this video because I want to save you a lot of time. I want to save you time when it comes to manifesting your goals, trawling the internet and looking through hundreds of YouTube videos to find the answer. I want to save you time from trying every manifestation technique under the sun, but not necessarily knowing if any of it's going to lead to anything. Here it is. Manifestation is actually all to do with our subconscious mind. And when it comes to achieving our goals, meeting the people we want to meet, landing the opportunities we want to land, skyrocketing through the career path we want to grow through, we don't manifest what we want. We manifest what we believe that we deserve. And those beliefs run deep. Those beliefs live in our subconscious mind. Beliefs are quite simply stories that we tell ourselves over and over and over again, but if they've been programmed into the subconscious mind, they serve us as a code to our operating system. If we were a computer and the programmer put in this kind of code to make the computer do this, that's what the subconscious mind is. So the computer programmer could put in a different kind of programming into the same computer and get that computer to do something else, to run differently, to get different results. That's exactly what it's like when it comes to our subconscious programming. So our subconscious mind really runs the show. It dictates what we do 95% of the time. We're often consciously very unaware of most of the things that our subconscious mind is controlling us to do. But the good news is you can change it and the first step is even just being aware of it right now here we are having this conversation this is a massive step when i'm talking about subconscious programming that is blocking our manifestations i'm referring to limiting beliefs that we picked up usually but not always in the earliest years of our life between the ages of zero to seven years old our brain is actually wired differently to how it is now. Our brain is even more of a sponge than now. This is why people talk about how it's easier to learn languages when you're young, when you're a child, and it's harder to pick them up when you're an adult. It's not impossible to learn a new language when you're an adult, but between those ages of zero to seven, our brain is just in pure download mode. And what that also means is that experiences that we had in those early years or things we were told by the people around us, they went straight into our subconscious mind and became the foundations of our programming. And the most common limiting beliefs that I often come across are ones that sound like, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm not lovable enough, I don't deserve unconditional love, life has to be difficult for people like us, money is the root of all evil, money is hard to get, we never have enough money, the list goes on. But most of those beliefs were formed either by us hearing someone say that to us, or by us just quite simply witnessing the events that were taking place in our life in those early years and we took them and we decided that's the way it is even though when you become an adult you discover that that's not the way it is for everyone and you happened to have been placed in that environment in your early life and therefore you picked up those stories and you decided to duplicate them as your future code but now that we're adults and we are completely in control of our own destiny and we know that we also know that if any of the codes that we picked up in our early years aren't serving our greatest life potential. If any of these limiting beliefs hold us back or make us feel like we're not good enough or that we can't have it or that it's too hard or that it's not possible for us, that's usually if we boil it all down what they all sound like, we have the power to release those limiting beliefs and decide which new, empowered, limitless beliefs we want to imprint into our subconscious mind instead. I'll give you a personal example. In the early days of me creating content, it didn't seem to matter how much content I created, nothing seemed to take off, nothing seemed to be growing. So I was getting quite frustrated, and I don't know if you can relate to this, where you feel like, hang on, I'm putting in the action, the action, the action. I'm even doing things like affirmations and visualizations and so on, but still, where's the results? When's it gonna come? And then I decided to prioritize doing the deep subconscious work. I discovered a number of different really powerful techniques that help you, number one, to identify what's actually blocking you? Like what the story even sounds like? Because sometimes it's 
so here in our face that you know we can't see it because it's so close to us and yet it's the lens through which we see the world it's the lens through which our life seems to reflect back to us and through this deep subconscious work i discovered that i had a number of limiting beliefs which were exactly the beliefs that were blocking me from having any kind of breakthrough or growth when it came to my content creation journey my block sounded something like i'm scared of being seen I'm ashamed of who I am. When I shine my light, it dims the light of others. Like it's sort of dis me being successful disadvantages other people. And all of these were different stories that I made conclusions about in the early years of my life. Most of them came from school, from embarrassing moments, moments where I felt shame. And then I drew these conclusions about myself that it's bad for me to go for it, it's bad for me to shine. A few months after releasing these blocks and imprinting new empowered beliefs, where I feel now like I love who I am, I love my voice, I'm proud of the unique person that I am, I'm proud of what some people might call being a weirdo, I freaking love who I am and I love that I'm different and I love that that makes me special and I, and I know that my voice deserves to be heard and I know that the more people who see my videos, the more people I help, I know that I'm locked into a purpose, that I'm aligned to my purpose and that my purpose is to bring value to a lot of people and I know that it's safe for me to do that. A few months after releasing these blocks, all my views on YouTube, TikTok, and even Instagram started to skyrocket. I started to see numbers that I'd never seen before. I started to see growth like I'd never seen before. And it all seemed to feel quite relatively easy, dare I say it. Like, I'd been putting in the work before anyway, so don't get me wrong, I wasn't just kicking back doing nothing and getting growth, I was taking action, but I was taking action before and not getting growth. The difference now was I was taking action and I was seeing growth, I was seeing traction, I was seeing movement, I was seeing momentum. I started to receive more opportunities coming my way. I started to develop this amazing community, you, my amazing subscribers. And yes, I scripted about it. Yes, I wrote down on my scripting letter before this happened as well, that my videos are going viral to a positive, supportive, open-minded audience of people. And I know that that also was a massive part to play in my manifesting this growth because where your focus goes energies flow but it would be a disservice to you if i did not also tell you that i did this other deeper subconscious work to release those blockages and as soon as i identified them and dissolved them things started to move in the right direction everything changed for the better now a quick disclaimer the journey never ends and that's not a bad thing what I mean by that is that don't look at anyone on the internet as a finished product. I still know, I'm very aware that I still have some subconscious blocks that I'm discovering and identifying and working on letting go of constantly. In fact, that is like the, the one constant on my personal development journey and on my spiritual journey is discovering new layers, letting go of old fears. In the last few years I've experienced certain events that really kind of traumatized me and held me back for a while and I've had to be there for myself to really heal from that and support them as well. So I'm not saying that it's a one-time thing, snap your fingers and everything in your life will change. But if you care about manifestation, if you're into manifestation, if you want to manifest more things into your life, don't just do the surface level YouTube viral techniques and make sure that you're dedicating time to identifying your subconscious blocks and dissolving them so that you can quantum leap into your next level in any and all areas in your life. So if you would like to dive deeper into this subconscious work, into melting and dissolving away any subconscious blockages that might be stopping you from activating and breaking through to that next level in your life, 
I want to help you. I've decided that I'm going to run a workshop. It's gonna be approximately 90 minutes long where we have all the time in the world for me to guide you through these processes and help you to let go of those subconscious blocks and reprogram your mind to allow yourself to manifest what you want. The real dream here is to get our brains working for us, not against us. So that's why I'm gonna be facilitating this workshop. I'll put the details in the description below. You're welcome to join me for it. Anyone who enrolls in the workshop will also get the recordings for life so that you can go back and really do this deep work as many times as you want and at any future occasion in your life where something comes up that you want to clear. I don't know when I'm gonna be running this workshop again because I know how much of my energy it's going to require for me to facilitate this. So if you would like to join me for this workshop, simply click the link below in the description, secure your place, and I can't wait to see you there so that together we can have some new breakthroughs on a deep enough level to really get some positive shifts happening in your life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring my bell so that you never miss another video. See you in my next video. See you at the workshop. Until next time, bye.